Margarita, there was a surge of unemployment created by the pandemic. How do you see this playing into uh, these problems going ahead? I mean, it's been one of the single most devastating, you know, um, events to happen to our communities. They were suddenly just suddenly left with absolutely no resources. And we were part of, or we serve communities for whom the safety net did not activate, right? They weren't getting stimulus benefits. They weren't qualified for unemployment benefits. There are people who had historically participated in exploited labor um, and were abused in the workplace in addition to other places. The recovery from this is something that can be an opportunity for transformation, right? We don't necessarily want our communities going back to underpaid, exploited labor practices. We want them to be able to build out and re-envision an economic future that creates sustainable paths for them and their children for the long run. One of the things that we do in our organization is that we help survivors to establish small businesses. And during the pandemic, that switched up to online sales. So if we do a lot of work with vendors here and survivors to helping them to get their licenses, make sure that they're um, getting lawyers and legal services so that their businesses are properly registered and they're paying their taxes. Um, we want to be able to continue that in an online forum so that they can continue to sustain themselves beyond this. But I do think that along with the rest of, you know, nonprofit sector and private sector re-envisioning what workplace practices look like going forward after the pandemic, we're also really thinking about how survivors can sustain themselves economically in a way that that is a re-envisioning re going forward, where they are their own supervisors, their own bosses. Um, we established a cooperative last year, and that's a cooperative that's run by and for domestic violence survivors, all of whom are immigrants and they're all their own bosses now. And um, that certainly suffered a great hit during the pandemic. They lost a lot of members because they weren't able to sustain that business at the time. They're coming back slowly. Um, and with a lot of support from our organization and through other small business development initiatives are really able to sustain that going forward.